In my journey to cover every single game from the PGL Copenhagen Major Playoffs, we've covered so far all four of the quarterfinals, and today we're going to start the semifinals by taking a look at FaZe versus Vitality, and the player that I'd like to highlight in this series is Rain. Now when FaZe won their first Major, Rain actually did get the MVP for that event because he was dominating, and the map that he was actually known for dominating at the time was Nuke. So today we're going to look at how Rain plays Nuke in his first CS2 Major versus Vitality, and we'll get right into that right after a quick word from Skins Monkey. Today's video is once by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a site where you can trade skins that you already have to get some skins that you might want. That way you can hop into your next game with some fresh new skins. All you have to do is log into the site through Steam, put in the skins that you don't want anymore, grab the skins that you do, and then click trade. Trades happen almost immediately and any balance that you don't use in the trade will roll over for a trade that you might do in the future. Right now you can get a free $5 if you were to use code Austin on the site. And if you were to use my code, you would get an additional 5% on top of the 30% deposit bonus. So let's say if you deposit $100, that means you would get $135 if you use my code to deposit so make sure you guys check out skins funky and let's get right back into the video now it's no circuit that so far we've watched a lot of phase nuke when i've done demo reviews and of course the reason for that is because i do think that phase has one of the best nukes in cs2 and even in csgo i think kerrigan's a fantastic igl on it but the individuals for phase are actually the reason why i think they are so good because kerrigan can get away with the riskier calls and of course his individuals will carry him to victory so of course we've looked at brokey's opping we've also looked at rops's lobby aggression and and lurking and now today we're going to be looking at rain's outside solo stuff now previously we have watched people like donk do this but today we're going to look at rain who i still think is the best player in the world at this outside aggression and you're going to kind of start to see why now we are versus a full eco here but we could take this time for me to explain how outside control typically works Let's reset the map, that way I can draw on it very well. Let's get rid of all these people, because FaZe are going to win this round, it's an eco. Alright, so, typically for outside T players, what your goal is, is to either, if you're by yourself, you want to make them think that you're down secret, or that you could potentially wrap outside. Whether that be through garage, whether that be coming through the mini smokes here, any of these things you need to do as the outside player. So typically what happens is, at the beginning of the round, your goal is if you're by yourself, so Rain's going to be jump spotting, seeing if anybody crosses secret, seeing if anybody comes back red, sees if they goes back garage, any of these things that he might get information from on a jump spot. He can also see if somebody jumps on the roof, which is still a meta thing to do in CS2. He can also see if somebody's spamming from mini, a lot of things that he can see. But of course the CTs don't want that to happen on the jump spot, so you'll see this smoke get thrown a lot. The CTs will bounce a smoke right here, and this smoke is actually called the glaive smoke. Now when this smoke gets thrown, the jump spot kind of gets nullified because you can't see if anybody crosses back red. It's a lot harder to see if people cross secret and garage, so that's the counter to the jump spot. So basically what'll happen is most of the rounds this smoke will get thrown, and Rain will sit and he'll either molly after the smoke goes, he'll molly back red, make sure there's nobody there, and then he'll slowly start to clear all of these potential angles one at a time. And then after that, his team will throw outside smokes so that he can cross and do something else. And that's pretty much how most of these rounds look. There's a lot of smoke spamming and there's a lot of depth to the play, but we'll go into that as we you know, as we go. So that's just how most of these rounds are going to look. Of course, this is a lurk smoke that also gets thrown for the T's. Now, I didn't mention this, but the reason this gets thrown, of course, is so the T's can go back red because obviously you don't want to always just sit back here and jump spot. Even though that is the most common play, you still want to be able to threaten that you're going to go maybe back red. Maybe you're going to throw the outside smokes late here. And actually, that is what happens this round, if I remember correctly. I think that they get the lurk smoke thrown and then they just throw outside smokes from close here. So you're going to be creeping up here. Now, they do know this is just standard nuke protocol, the way the economy works. Because it's the first gun round, there's a, I would say, 5% or less chance that the CTs have an op. So because of that, we're not going to be as afraid to take some outside fights here. Now remember, Rain is a very experienced outside rifler, even on CT side. So he's pretty aware of what needs to happen here because he knows how the other person is going to be playing. And so that's why he's going to be willing to take some of these fights here. Now... Here we have it. Everybody's creeping up towards outside. Of course, Kerrigan is sitting in lobby with Rops. Again, I would like to reference the Rops demo review that I did when the game first came out. Top right of your screen. You can check it out if you want to learn what Rops is doing in lobby since he's sort of detached from the outside stuff. And here we have it. Again, we know there's no op, so Rain's going to swing on a timing with Brokey. Now, actually, it's a little bit more than that because what you didn't realize in the meantime was that Kerrigan's on the roof throwing an A fake. That way, all of the rotations would start to look in towards A here, which allows for this timing for them to cross red. As you can see, they're focused on A because they think it's an A hit, and 
at that same time, they're going to swing across outside. Remember, a play like this works really well because they are very, very likely to not have an op. So they know that if three people peek a rifler, he's going to get destroyed. And that's exactly what happens to Zaiwu there. It's an expert tier call from Kerrigan as per usual. And we're going to see the first gun round be converted for phase. Like I said again, because the A fake is in, the mini player looks here, which allows this timing. This is a 1v3 now versus for Zaiwu. He's not going to win it. And then by the time he dies... I don't remember who it was. I think Flames or maybe Mezzi, I'm not sure, comes back and he gets absolutely toasted as well. Now, here we have it, more of the same. It's against Deagles. Now, the one thing about outside stuff is that Deagles can sometimes be scarier than an M4 because the Deagles can obviously one-tap you. And you're playing against other tier one players, so that's very likely to happen if you're not careful. So that's just what we're going to see here. He's jump spotting, kind of spamming. He doesn't want to go too far because if he gives an AK, things can get out of hand pretty easily. So again, he knows he's not playing against a gun that's that scary so he can kind of just take these luxuries take a little fight here kind of just waiting for everybody to get coordinated here what do we want to do all right let's go towards ramp probably rain's like all right cool but obviously the thing is is that this smoke that you just saw of course is this one right here before we can just go ramp we still have to put outside pressure because the way the nuke works is basically if you don't if you know that they can't be down secret or if they're not wrapping outside and we know that because apex is here by the way this is the best spot for outside players typically um you can pretty much just stack towards inner and or ramp. So before you go into ramp with, you know, uh, you know you're against an eco. You don't want to get 5'7". Even XMs are common on this map at ramp. You don't want to run into a stack like that at ramp because you could just lose. So before you do that, you have to kind of go through the steps, throw the outside stuff, make it so that they have to put one down. They have to rotate one over, make sure nobody's coming through the smokes to wrap A. And you have to do this. It's like very important to not skip steps on this map. So even though they know that they're playing against basically nothing, you still see rain, throw this lurk smoke, it gets connected by uh, Frozen, and they're just going to go ahead and go down. Like I said, off the back of this, Rain can get down Secret pretty much without any issues. He can also spot over the smoke towards Heaven. He kind of gets an idea of what's going on there. Now, we're going to slowly go down, and as you can see, Rain gets left to do the outside stuff by himself. Now, this is not something that we haven't talked about before, but I'll explain it yet again for those of you guys who this is your first time, which, by the way, if it's your first demo review from me, why don't you sub to the channel? We're almost at 30k, and I'd really appreciate it a lot if we could hit that. It means the world to me. Anyway, back into the review what we're seeing here is basically what we always see on nuke you have one person go down and this is back to the name plating thing where rain is the outside guy so if somebody were to kill rain here he wouldn't expect anyone behind rain because rain's normally the guy that goes by himself so in the future and the rounds that come later when they send more of the people down of course rain will be in the front and uh, everybody else will be baiting him and the same thing goes rain's gonna put pressure lower that way they look away from ramp and then the ramp hit is successful not to over explain the concepts concepts rather that we've talked about many times but for the most part that's that's all there is to it they're gonna come up a here and uh yeah they're gonna lose a 1v3 wait 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 what happened yes i know i was in the venue when this happened i watched this happen live i couldn't believe it my hands were on my head i was I was just so sad that they lost this. Like, they don't need to take these. Oh, my God. It's so sad to watch it. it oh, my God. Either way, that's probably the most ridiculous 1v3 that's ever happened in a major semifinal. But wow. Wow. I can't. Either way, we go on. And, of course, because of that, the money is going to be a little rough for FaZe. So, Rain doesn't have an AK. We're just going to change a little bit of how he plays outside. He's going to start with this Lurk Smoke like he always does. He's going to flash off of Red. And that flash is something that you should throw in your pugs. Because what happens is anybody that's opting towards Garage or trying to cross back Red early will eat a flash. And it makes it really easy for you to do stuff. Especially if you're playing low-level pugs, you can throw exactly what Rain just threw. And it will help you win more. Because even if your teammates don't know the outside smokes, this will let you get to back red which gives you the ability to have more space maybe you want to wrap mini a lot of things just that set of utility alone will help you now rain again by himself will get the outside smokes thrown for him so he can pretend like a lot of people are going down secret and that's what's going to happen so they're going to be blowing these smokes like they're going like they always do now of course what just happened before we see this next fight that happens there was an a pop that happened in the meantime so they're going on a now because of that they still know that it's very likely that Rain is lurking to come in mini to catch people off guard. He could be secret because he could have went down with the smokes and he could come late. He could be back red. He could be in front of the smokes like he is. And so before Sphinx and Flames help with the A-pop, before they do that, they want to fight Rain outside because they know he's here. Because think about it. If, if in... They were to just try to fight A, Rain will eventually flank them and they'll lose. So before they can address the actual problem on A site, they have to deal with this first. And Rain is just a master at making sure 
that their attention is on him because in the meantime what happens apex gets left on an island backside he was stuck backside and he was alone and he has no help because they know that rain is still out here and they can't help him they can't it's not as easy as just oh we're gonna fight through many whatever yeah we know rain's coming because he could just kill like he's going to just he's going to kill you like it's how it works and so because of that the strat is perfect rain does just enough keeps flames away from him also does a lot of damage and pretty much forces them to save and there you have it another expert tier call from kerrigan and you'll know that i'm gonna say that a lot in this demo review because a lot of the things that rain is doing is actually on the behalf of kerrigan because obviously rain is getting in these very silly spots and flanking late round because kerrigan wants him to be there there is a lot of individual decision making in a position like this but for the most part when it comes to the grand picture a lot of these positions that he's in are because that's where kerrigan wants him to be now how he gets there is up to him but kerrigan will say i need you here so that way we could do this and i don't care how you get there but you need to get there and so then Rain will be like, oh, let's throw this outside smoke, let's throw this outside smoke, whatever. And that's kind of how the dynamic between IGL and outside lurker goes. Now, Rain gonna boost up Brokey. Now, this isn't something that's uncommon as well, because like I said, it's all about the sectors of outside. So let me let me get this. So what they want to do is, because they didn't see early, there could be somebody back red, there could be someone secret. But since the Glaive Smoke wasn't thrown, boosting Brokey means that he can hold back Garage. And in the meantime, his teammates can come up and clear Africa. Now this spot's called Africa, because back in 1.6, it looked like uh, the country Africa. Not so much these days, but nowadays it is. Um, you know, still called that. So they want to clear this outside under silo position. And and then after that, they'll molly back red, and if anybody's back red, they'll run into Brokey. And then after that, they'll molly secret, they'll throw outside smoke slate, and then they'll go down. That's typically what a round like this goes into. So now that that's happened, let's see it Let's see it all happen as I predict. So back red gets mollied, Brokey's looking, and because of this, they should know that because there was no glaive smoke, it's very, very unlikely somebody's there, so Rain's not going to check it, and instead he's going to creep here. Now, I did say that the one possibility was for them to throw outside smokes and then go down, but another possibility is rain to go here and challenge in towards back garage and or hold secret because it is again some position that rain is an expert in outside rifler so he knows this is possible so he's going to be kind of aware of all of these things and at that time flames will actually come up here and rain will get the kill the outside smokes will get thrown different variation as to what i just mentioned but of course this is still the same idea rain's going to get into an advanced position a second smoke goes very important to not go before the smoke because well, of course, I was opping, so you know he's going to be around here. Rain's going to get into this credit position, as you can see here. Walks through the outside smokes into this little gap that was just previously mollied. Zaiwu not expecting this at all. Rain, you know, still gets the kill. Now, he's not going to be expecting Apex in this position, and the reason is it's just as simple as nameplating. So, Flames is the outside player. Zaiwu is the guy that's going to be opping and rotating and apex is typically inner and or you know sometimes just ramp sometimes he starts lower a lot of places for apex to start but one of those spots is most certainly not garage and so even though rain's not expecting him remember brokey has been posted the entire time and that was all set up by kerrigan by design to make sure that if any shenanigans happened brokey would be overwatching and so you see the pieces of phases nuke are coming together and you can kind of see why they're a very suffocating team to play against because the individuals are very strong they very rarely miss and they have a mastermind controlling all of it like i'm not really sure what there is else to say i've covered every position on phase at this point except for frozen and kerrigan himself i feel like you guys kind of get the idea so let's do it one more time rain's gonna throw this lurk smoke now this is something that he does quite a bit where he gets the smoke that's thrown from spawn and or he throws it for himself and then he jumps up so he can see over it now when we watched the first ever donk demo review that i did on the channel i talked about how there was only one person that seemingly could defeat donk when he was absolutely farming everybody and that was rain and this is a pick that he did against donk a few times because you get a little bit of a i don't want to say advantage but you get to catch people off guard by stepping up over the smoke here and in csgo it was a one way for sure in this game it's still a very good angle you can jump up here clear everything out now remember they are playing as a half by and they do know that so he's going to take some luxuries he's going to peek a couple of things that he probably wouldn't against an opper or a gun round and of course since they didn't save left round he knows that's not in play of course rain still one of the mechanical best players in the world he can hit those shots rain you know if i took the name tags off you might think you're watching nico here but actually you're watching rain and 
Same thing, he didn't kill the outside rifler, so it's important to note nameplating Apex gets killed, so he mollies secret because he knows that that's another position for someone to start because he just started there the round before. And, uh, you know, that's that's a little detail for you. And he's buying time. He's obviously just being a threat outside. They have to always be aware because it might not just be Rain soloing outside. I mean, it probably is, and they know that, but there is always a chance for there to be more than one person out here. And that's what Rain is trying to do. He's trying to make himself seem bigger than he is. He's trying to make himself seem like more of a force than he actually is. That way, they have to respect him, and then you can have four people go out A, and then they're not expecting it, and then people don't die. It's very good. Even though this is an eco, it still applies because you don't want to give up kills, and you don't want to give up guns that can potentially get saved. That way, they can help their economy. You don't want that to happen. So, very important detail. Now, here we go again with another outside round, and you're going to see something a little bit different this time, and that's the rain he's gonna get left on this island but he knows he's playing against the opera because they haven't started the opera outside at all yet and it's about that time now he has a very good idea of this so he's gonna throw a couple of pieces of utility now the spot that he just needed let me show you some of the cool things about this now the spot he just needed is actually right in front of mini or main if you're from EU and that's because this spot is actually a very common op pick spot to catch in this gap here and rain is aware that Zywoo likes to go for that he is very on high alert that there is an opera and he's probably starting outside. Now, of course, this spot could get cleared from Silo, but you would have to expose yourself to so many spots in order to do so, so it's not going to happen. So Rain will nade it, try to dissuade Zaiwu from opping there. Even though he's not there, they don't know that. And of course, if he did hit him, he would get a sound cue. He does not hit him, though. Uh, and yeah, uh, so they're, they're kind of aware that outside is going to have some some things going on this time so rain's gonna throw the first outside smoke the lurk smoke now of course this front mini smoke what does it do it denies this op line it denies a bunch of things so that they feel more uh what's the word more willing to peak garage because they need this outside info while they have it so that's why rain throws a smoke like this now here's the secret molly and of course rain is getting dropped an extra utility he got dropped an extra smoke and an extra molly because by throwing more than one smoke and one molly, they're going to just assume that it's more people out there than there actually is. Of course, in the meantime, Brokey and Kerrigan were out here helping him. Kerrigan's going to throw one smoke. Kerrigan, that's the second molly thrown by Rain, dropped again. And the, of course, point is, by throwing two mollies, they're assuming two people outside. They'd be wrong. It's just Rain again, all an illusion. They threw the first Lurk Smoke. Now they threw two of these. It's important to note Rain right clicks the smoke, and they know that. They can hear that. So they know somebody's back red. It looks to me, from Vitality's perspective, like a round where they're going to go down four secret or three secret. It looks very much like a round like that. Except, of course, again, it's just a ruse, and Rain's going to be sitting here waiting. Sphinx needs to get this info. They have to get this info. They can't just let them down secret. They can't, they can't do that. They need to get this info now, because if it is is a fake which it is by the way the chances of a lobby pop are very very high that's just the way the nuke works they can't let this sit they have to see what's going on so they peek and unfortunately rain loses the battle and because of that sphinx runs through the smoke he's like wait a minute it's gonna be a and that's exactly what we talked about in just a few seconds ago and then the a pop comes in and of course everything will go from there and vitality closes out the round so it's an unfortunate duel there for rain to lose but you can kind of see all the pieces coming together granted that's an unlucky call to make because vitality wanted to address all of the outside issues they've been having so they had many many people there to make sure that they couldn't lose a round like that again and they don't now here we have again another round rain's gonna throw the smoke the flash he can jump up here now the glaive smoke does get thrown this round and rain saw it so he's gonna be ready to go down quickly with these outside smokes he's like if if you win africa that's fine if you're hiding behind the smoke that's fine i don't care i'm going down secret and i'm making sure everybody hears me now of course this is something that he wants because they know he's out here so it doesn't matter if he makes noise it's rain it's his job to be the outside guy so he makes it all the way down but of course they're coming down behind him. Now, it's not a good thing that Kerrigan died, but it isn't a bad thing either because they're going to assume that since Kerrigan died in the kill feed, that it's probably just Rain. Because Kerrigan is normally the guy that's outside with Rain, so they're just going to assume that, oh wait, I just heard Rain go down and Kerrigan's dead. And they know Rops is going to be in lobby, and so it's probably going to be an A or ramp hit. But in the meantime, somehow this sneaky little guy has gotten down vent. And so just like that, all of the phase clan is in lower minus Kerrigan. And because of that, they know that nobody's going to be down here. The glass isn't broken. They don't know that, but they have to obviously still clear it. And like I said before, when we were watching Brokey, not just but the other day, it looks to me, 
if you're an inexperienced player, like the boys are kind of baiting Rain. Look at how much farther ahead he is than them. But this is all by design because remember, Rain is supposed to be by himself on a normal round. And if he were to get spotted, we don't want the jig to be up right away. This is a round that's almost identical from the Team Spirit round that we watched where we were doing the Brookie review. Because, of course, if Rain dies, so like let's say somebody kills him in control and then peeks, he's... Oh, it's just rain. Okay, boys, it was only rain. It's fine. You know, like, <laughs> that's just what they want them to think. But in reality, the boys are set up. Here comes the hit. So, Brokey's going to Molotov the vent. That way, people can't come down on vent while they're crunching on lower. And rain is going to have a look for flames. Now, he knows, of course, that this is a common position. It's very, uh, you know, it's, it's more common than you think. Molly to the left side. Flames whiffs. Rain and Brokey will close it out. Now, he did hear the op shoot, so he doesn't want to peek this. Utility will get thrown, and now it's basically just Rain's job to not die here. Now, you actually might not know this, but there is a shadow advantage in control here, and Zaiwu probably saw Rain's shadow, but knew that he can't just sit there and hold it forever. Rain, of course, still alive, is going to play my favorite angle in control. Steps down here, catches Mezzi. Does, he has no clue that Sphinx is here, but Rops will clutch it for him regardless, and... It's just a beautiful round. Even though it was a 4v5, they still make it look easy. They had the advantage. They had way more people down lower than Vitality expected. And so because of that, they just win the round. So again, another round. Glaive smoke gets thrown. Like I said, very common for the CT smokes, the CT to throw this smoke. And uh, Rain is just kind of having a look. He knows they're against Eco yet again. And this time, Rops will go down. Remember, Rops a solo lobby guy. So because of that, Vitality are going to immediately look outside because now Faith has no info on what they know. They know Rops is dead and they, they don't know if they cleared lobby. Are they are they flanking us? I mean, Frozen's looking like, oh, I don't know. They could be anywhere. Like they, they could come on the roof. Then Vitality doesn't know, but they have a good idea that since, you know, he's that solo guy, that's probably going to happen. So look at there's three people outside and a miss smoke for the boys means there's a lot of opportunities here for things to go wrong. It's getting a little sketchy. Rounds like this can easily get out of hand. Like I said before, when Rainy was taking those fights on the Deagles, you don't want to give up an AK because all of a sudden, that AK could find another kill, and now your advantage is... it's gone. They're going to end up mid-rounding in towards ramp as Kerrigan gets spotted, and uh, to be honest with you, this round is pretty much a lost cause. Like, I don't really know what you're going to call here. The only way to get back in it is to find somebody who's not expecting you to get a clean kill. I mean, it's 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 very hard to positionally win this, but regardless, they're going to try their best. They're going to creep up the ramp here. Apex actually lets them up and uh, catches him at the last second. They all get up heaven, though, and that's how the round can get lost. Rain is, of course, going to hit these shots, and just like that, they find themselves in another winning position. Apex lets them up the ladder. Now, of course, it's not his fault. He didn't know that they were there, but because that was his uh, area that he was responsible for, gets out of hand. By the way, cheeky little angle from Apex there that a lot of people don't know about is if you want to clear heaven, you can actually clear it from underneath here. Uh, you can see through. People aren't going to be expecting that. They'll be holding this angle, and you can kill them from underneath. Just a little, little thing for you there, in case you didn't know. And uh, basically, phase recover. And we get a timeout from this is Vitality. Rain, of course, has everything he needs. Gets the outside smoke dropped over to him again. And more of the same. Now, this is a different look from Vitality. They have Zaiwu back red. Sphinx is here. Everybody's here. One that I watched earlier before I recorded this. And I was thinking that it was interesting that Kerrigan sent it down instead of Rain. But the idea is still the same. Because Kerrigan is sending it down lower like Rain does, right? So Rain will make that noise when he's by himself. So Kerrigan can do it this time. And as long as Kerrigan doesn't die, they're just going to assume that it's Rain. Now, here's the problem though. Zaiwu is outside. He kills Frozen on top of Silo, and now Rain is spamming. So now the sound cues have been given that Kerrigan ran down. Rain is spamming. Frozen's dead. They probably know what's going on right now. They know that the majority of people are outside, and you'll see that in the rotations here from Vitality. So they're going to have to make their way down, and things are just kind of going bad. Kerrigan gets spotted. The round is kind of just over. It's Rain and Brokey to try to pull it back, and I'm just going to keep it real with you. They don't. So this is a very good round from Vitality. They pull off exactly what they need to and they go into this last round and rain's gonna do again the same thing as always spam spots zaiwu crossing back red now it's important to note that zaiwu is starting back red again because that's the round that they needed last round and so they're gonna do it again because it works and if it works why switch so rain spots him on the on the little uh outside spam it's kind of kind of funny that the cs2 mechanic works so well like that I, I like it a lot and of course 
The Flash says, I would peek. Rain is obviously very worried about what's going on. They're going to need to address this. So Rain is like kind of looking. He's dropping himself back. The Molly for back red gets thrown. Rain's going to peek. He knows whoever peeked him didn't have an op because he, he he saw that he didn't. And so he's you know taking the luxuries, spamming. And uh, by the way, not to, not to be a nerd, but the spam that Rain just did, you know what it is? It's for this new angle that's getting played. So ignore him up there. He misses. Um, people play here a lot in the modern era of CS because it's kind of like back garage, but it's not the same angle. Rain actually spams that. Kind of kind of cool, huh? Um, yeah. So outside smokes are going to get thrown. They need to clear Africa. They know Zaiwu could be there. So the smokes get thrown. Flash gets thrown for Kerrigan to peek in towards Africa. Instead, the flash, by the way, one of the best flashes that I've seen completely blind Zaiwu. He is a free kill and there you go. Kerrigan's gonna make a play here. He's gonna walk through many. Gets spotted now off the back of this. Rain is still spamming in but he did just kill Zaiwu. So they know Rain is outside. They know Kerrigan's outside. So this is another common thing that happens with FaZe's nuke where sometimes Rain and Kerrigan will go outside and they'll do some crazy stuff. In the previous demo review that I did I talked about how Rain walked through garage and Kerrigan walked through mini or well walk through the mini smokes to go outside and this was something that they do this is just the dynamic of rain and kerrigan outside so it's actually not out of the realm of possibility for kerrigan to get caught doing something like this again and because of that it's not impossible for vitality to have the read that the boys are still in lobby the majority of them are and so they has to come in now kerrigan calls for it we got to go now rain flashes himself through the smoke again this is the second flash that he's thrown for himself that has completely destroyed somebody and here goes one more. Flashes for his friend backside actually blinds Mezzi at the back of a Silo. And they get caught, they get both of them get spotted at A. Now Rain, of course, has revealed himself to be outside, but at this rate, he could have went down secret. And they probably expect that he has, because why would he still be here if the bomb is planted B? Good question. So even though they are very aware of the possibility of Rain being here, they drop, they make noise, and that's when Rain will activate. Now, they could be faking it because that is something that happens at the highest level. They fake the drop and hold for him. Rain waits extra long, so it looks like he just went down secret. And in the meantime, Brokey will get killed, which means that Rain needs to go quick. Now, they still have no idea where Rain is, so he has the advantage. He doesn't need to make any noise. And, of course, Rain will come around here through single. He gets the kill and, of course, the second one as well. A clean 1v2 and, honestly, one of the best rounds that I've seen from Rain at this entire tournament. It was beautiful. The entire round was perfect down to every last micro detail. Beautiful stuff. Now... CT side. Rain, of course, is probably one of the best CT riflers that we've ever seen to play the game. Now, he doesn't need to do much this game. They already have nine on T side, so it's, it'll be pretty straightforward. And we're going to see, of course, pistol round comes in. Everything is the same. Rain finds the first one, gets a gush. He needs to kind of just live. And oh no, here we go. It's one of those games. So Vitality win the pistol. And of course, they need to just save. I'm going to skip these rounds just in the best, in your guys' best interest. Kind of, you know, get rid of some of that downtime in these reviews. I'm trying to find a way to cut out some time because I like making hour long videos, but you know, I feel like some of it is a little repetitive after a while. So we'll skip some of these things. Now here we have the first gun round. And of course, same thing applies as before. We know that since they haven't lost any kills so far in this half, they probably still don't have an op. They have bad guns. And so Rain actually has an advantage on the outside. Now, Rain does something that a lot of outside players don't do, which is he spams the glaive smoke that he throws because he knows as an outside player that when the glaive smoke gets thrown, people like to cross back red. And so he spams on that cross. He actually gets a lot of dinks, a lot of kills while doing that in other games, especially in CSGO. He did it a lot. And you see it again here. Now Vitality are going to do some sort of an outside smoke round. And Rain is going to get some good info. Now again, he knows he's not playing against an op, so he can take some luxuries here. He gets flashed, spots flames dropping into mini, spots apex. All of a sudden, he knows that there's a lot of people outside. He sees him go into mini, and he tries to catch people as best he can. But he runs out of bullets, and unfortunately, the round will crumble. Now this is a very difficult round if you're Rain. There's not really a solution in mind, because what do you do? I mean, you have enough support. He peeks your garage, doesn't see. And then he peeks over here, he doesn't see. Then he catches somebody dropping into mini. He doesn't have enough time to get the kill. It's not really a whiff. He didn't two tap him. He, he shot like three bullets before he dropped. So he could have killed him. He doesn't. Then he peeks around to stop him from going in mini. Misses. Now at this point, he's lost track of how many bullets he has. So he peeks to catch the guy coming secret, dinks him, but then he has to reload. It's a very unfortunate round. And to be honest with you, I feel for him. I mean, he, pe he peaked everything he needed to, but he just ran out of bullets in the end. 
Regardless, in the round we'll go to Vitality and we're gonna see a half by here. Now Rain, of course, will pick up the Deeg. Like we said before, he's gonna come towards back garage. He just wants to basically get a kill if he can. Now Apex is going to be outside, playing the same role as Rain. If we wanna look here, he's just basically making sure that if anybody were to push outside here, he's gonna be able to see them and uh, make sure nobody flanks, make sure you can come out and flank mini late or go down secret late. Now Rain is very aware this is possible, even though it's an eco, so he's gonna sit back garage. Like I said, one of the most overpowered angles in the map. Clears all of outside, doesn't see anything, and makes his way towards ramp. Now, of course, Apex is out here. Don't be confused, bro. He's in the vent. Apex is out here. He will come out late, and Rain hopefully will be you know, able to catch him. He's still aware of it. Look, he's still looking. So he knows. Again, it's just because, like, you play this spot on T-side Rain, so you should know what's possible. And he does. Waiting very patiently. Unfortunately, the timing will get the better of him. And even though Apex may, you know... Even though Rain was ready for him, Apex catches the right timing. Sometimes that's just how CS goes. Get it? CS go. CS goes. All right, anyway. Um, here we have it. Now, this is a unique round. Now, this is not something that you're going to see a lot, but it's very common in teams that either first form or have been together for a long time. And what it is, is randomly having your outside player or any player play a different spot. So... Of course, Brokey goes outside. Rain has no need to go outside when Brokey's out here, so he's gonna start A. Now, important to note, it looks like Rain's doing absolutely nothing, but he's actually playing anti-flash for potential rushes because if they were to flash, they're going to flash, let me show you, through these skylights that are conveniently placed for the T's, and if he's heaven looking anywhere, he'll get blinded by them, so he's actually kind of just playing anti, waiting to hear what he hears, and since he hears nothing, he's actually going to just come out here and help Brokey. Now, the outside smokes did get thrown, so of course that's why he's come back. They're going to try to nade these smokes, they're going to spam these smokes, and it, like I said, because Rain plays this role, he knows what he needs to do, and actually, and since he started heaven, what he needs to do is he needs to somehow get down lower, because if he was outside, he would probably be spamming he would also potentially drop vent so he needs to find a way to get down here or he needs to find a way to let rops get down there so helps him out decides you know what we didn't hear anything whatever the info might be like i said this is just one of those things i don't know what phase are coming here so i have to kind of fill in the blanks because you know in theory we, you know we can see their radar and we're thinking why don't somebody go down you know but they obviously have discussed a reason or they don't think somebody i don't know gotta fill in the blanks a little bit Maybe they just say, you know what? No, they didn't go. Rain, of course, is ready. Here's a little small thing for you. Shadow advantage from this angle. This angle is obviously very strong because if somebody were to wrap heaven, you can see their shadow on this railing right here. Now, let me show you something that's actually kind of funny because Apex knows this. So when people cross up here, their shadow will appear down here. Let's watch and see. Let's see. So Apex knows his shadow will show. And because of that, oh, what is that? What is that? It didn't show? How it's broken game? No. Because pros know that your shadow will show, a lot of the times when they come up here, your shadow only shows if you come to this side of the rail. So what they do is they walk on the left side on purpose and give themselves a worse angle coming into heaven. That way their shadow doesn't show. That way Rain has no idea that you're there. But it doesn't even matter because somehow Frozen turns around and catches him. So that was a that was a crazy round to watch. Even in the stadium, it made no sense. You see Frozen's getting flanked and for no reason, for some reason, he turns around at the exact right time to catch Apex and it's just, it's just fantastic. A beautiful round from Frozen. Now I've gone back on accident i'm assuming that rain probably called that it's possible because he knew that because again it's just common knowledge these days that you can avoid that shadow at least at the pro level not at the not at this you know the noob level but it's common knowledge that you can avoid that so more than likely that's what happened and uh yeah it's it's just a, a cool little detail and the first round for phase of ct side off the back of rain's probably good comms here saying that he could have went anyway because they know that that shadow is not the uh not not the only thing you can avoid that shadow that's just pro level stuff like it started with seco saying on his youtube channel like three years ago that if in csgo if anybody peaks heaven you can see their shadow then people started dodging it and then people oh man oh man the depths this pro cs it's so much fun regardless more of the same where this time rain will go outside it's going to drop the silo nade of course it's the deeper one because people will play back here a little bit more often not the close one is nobody plays a single they play farther back rain's going to spam mini kind of just pretending to be more than he is now at the current moment you'll notice nobody's watching outside you don't need to have anybody watching outside that's why rain rain is spamming in the door he's kind of showing himself mini because if anybody were to be playing rain's role this round like on t-side they're going to hear that and they're going to be like 
Well, the outside player wouldn't just spam mini because then nobody's looking outside. There's surely an opera posted outside right now, so we can probably go A and it'll be the right play. In reality, it's just Rain doing that because he knows that there's just a gentleman's agreement that, oh, you hear me spamming mini? I wouldn't be doing that and nobody watching outside, right? We would never do that, especially not at the pro level, right? We would never do that, guys. <laughs> never in a million years. Never. Why would we do that? That seems like a noob, a noob play. You know, a beginner mistake, if you will. But, of course, that's not actually what happens. And even though they do open up that gap that could get taken, of course, Frozen will be the one covering it. So it does exist, but they're still not really expecting it. Frozen's going to come up here and peek secret. You're going to see nothing. And at the, this time, the A hit will come in. Rain steps in front of this smoke. By the way, a cool little angle for you in the front of the first vent ends up going to the second vent instead. He's in the perfect spot. Kerrigan, as long as Kerrigan doesn't peek here, he will live. And Rain is probably calming that very, very loud. Don't peek, don't peek, don't peek, don't peek, don't peek. Something like this, you know? <laughs> because Kerrigan, of course, he, he doesn't. if he doesn't move, he doesn't die. And so Rain's going to hold for him. And of course, slowly but surely, Rain will cover. Just like he said, Rain peeks off a of Kerrigan. Very common. And uh, that's, that's the game right there, basically. The economy um, is broken. Rain goes down. Apex gives it his best attempt here, but unfortunately it's not enough, and we're going into probably the final gun round. And here we have it. Rain's going to cross towards back garage. Doesn't get spotted by Zywu, luckily, and it's just, again, the same thing. Now, I didn't show you this, but I'll just tell you. Rain starts by throwing this molly that Donk threw, and of course the Glaive Smoke, because he wants to make it so that they think he can be back red. They have to throw extra utility in order to obviously clear that. Flames is going to be checking back red. And of course, he could be coming up secret, so Flames will also be checking that. Now, the outside smokes are going to get thrown from Silo. As you can see, the little flash for outside. They're going to smoke off Garage. Now, this is a CS2 thing. This never used to happen in CSGO. I never saw this strat in CSGO. But since it's currently so meta for people to play back Garage as a solo rifle, they are smoking Garage. This was a new strat for the Major. This was one of the, the new things. Rain's going to nade it, and then because of that, he's going to clear outside. He sees nothing, but actually what happened was the smoke was thrown and the flash, so if Brokey was opping out here, they could set Zaiwu up to fight him on the op and then go down secret. Rain nades, so they know he's there, so now they're looking for Brokey. Lots of, di like, lots of depth to this, and then because of that, Rain is just going to sit here. Now, of course, there is a potential for Flames to wrap, and the angle that Rain is playing has never before been seen, and then Rain steps out. Wow. 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 So, what did, what did we just see? Let's rewind it so you can appreciate this in detail. So, this angle back here always gets played because it's so strong. Now, because of this, Rain knows they can wrap outside, so he's hiding. New angle, never before seen. With the garage smoke, he can do this, and Flames is thinking it's clear, and then he steps out and kills him. Wow, even though the flash got thrown to clear this angle, that's what he thought. They thought he was playing here. This one, because of the garage smoke, it's allowed because before Apex would see him from here. No, but the garage smoke that Vitality threw to counter rain actually gives him a play that has never before been seen. Very crazy stuff. And so he gets caught off and that's the round. Now you might be thinking, but Austin, the garage is so big, of course they would expect that. No, you don't understand. This is not something that happens. This doesn't get, like, the people don't do this. I've never seen this before. I've seen people play here. I've seen people play over here. I've seen people just play back in the normal copy, but not this one, because this one you can get seen from the front of garage. That's the difference. And because of the smoke, a new angle gets created. Sphinx, I think it was Sphinx, I don't even remember. Not expecting him, wow. 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 That's what, that's what you get. The world's smartest outside player has done it again. Starts with the outside molly. This round, the final round, he hears Apex running down. I mean, it's not going to happen. The nade's already way too late. I see somebody drop down the vent to try to catch Apex. And he hears people jumping around outside. This is a desperation round from Vitality. Rain's just spamming. Nothing too crazy going on here. Like I said, the word desperation is... I, I don't even know if that's the right word at this point. They're, they need this round, and they're doing everything they can. Zywe bought a scout. They're just setting up for whatever they can. An A pop, probably. And here it comes. They're coming through the door. Rain gets scouted. That's the end of his map one. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say about this game. I really love the way Rain plays this map on T side and CT side. I've obviously... When I play outside, I try to play like Rain as much as I can. I think he's probably one of the best players in the world at uh, this map. And, uh, I mean, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. 
That's all there is to it. But wait! Is the game over or not? Because Rops is coming in through mini. It's a one versus two situation here. And there's a chance. There is a chance. Now, I'm not going to lie. I already watched this. Of course, he doesn't win it. But I wanted to build it up for those of you guys who are just watching this as a recap. Um, yeah, good game from the boys. I really wish FaZe would have won the major, but it's all right. The next time we watch FaZe, we'll be watching them getting destroyed in the major final. And uh, yeah, the next two demo reviews that we're doing are both from the Navi boys. One for JL, and I won't spoil who I'm doing for the major final. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. If you have any questions about the demo review that we just watched, please let me know. And other than that, I just appreciate you guys for watching. I know demo review content has been some of the best content that I've made on my channel, and you guys are really enjoying it. So thank you guys for all the kind words. I read all the comments, and I appreciate you guys for supporting. That's it. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Oh, and if you do enjoy this uh, style of content, consider coming to check out my streams. I do stream as much as I can pretty much every night. Twitch.tv slash AustinCS underscore. Link will be in the description. You can come watch me play at a pretty high level and also talk about how, what I'm doing in the middle of the game. You can learn from me. And of course, you can ask questions while I'm there. I answer every question I get asked. So that's it. I'm out of here. Bye.